Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll talk about Hugging Face datasets. I'm building a dataset for Donut ML model fine tuning to be able to extract data from different documents. This dataset is based on two attributes, image, and second one is a JSON string, which represents the content of the document that I'm looking to extract. And this data is being used to train or fine tune the model. And the data set is uh, based on invoices data that uh, uh, basically uh, uh, all this data is annotated and labeled by, by me. Uh, I, online I found a free uh, open source set of uh, sample invoice documents, around 1000 documents. And now I'm trying to annotate with our Sparrow UI annotation tool, uh, some like 500 documents, and I'll try to use them to do the fine tuning. But in order to do the fine tuning, I need to convert the data to uh, Hugging Face dataset format uh, for basically to be able to pass the data to the fine tuning process in most easier way uh, possible. So in this video, I'll explain uh, how um, Hugging Face dataset API looks like, uh, and it's really simple and uh, straightforward to use. So hopefully you'll be able to use it on your own uh, for your own dataset as well. So let's jump to uh, my screen. Uh, here you see the Hugging Face dataset UI, and this is the invoice donut, the dataset that I created. It's private for now because uh, it doesn't have. Um, enough data it's just like a two sample invoices uploaded because the rest of invoices are not yet annotated once everything will be annotated and complete data sets will be pushed to uh, hugging face infrastructure then i'll make it public for anyone to be able to access it and yeah because this is data set is private uh, then data set preview is disabled as soon as data set is public then uh, you'll be able to preview data set directly in your browser and see uh, what is the content is is uh, packaged in, inside into the data set. There are multiple ways how you can um, create data sets uh, with hiding face. I'll not um, cover all of them. Uh, I'll say that there are, uh, if you work on vision data sets like this one, because uh, we work uh, on images that represent documents, right? So uh, for vision data sets, you can either use out of the box um, image folder functionality, which uh, automatically converts uh, data into the suitable format, and it's easy to upload it to the uh, Hugging Face dataset uh, infrastructure, easy to uh, get it, um, uh, easy to load datasets back on your own environment and so on. Uh, and another option, if you want to build something custom, then uh, you could implement uh, Python uh, class or script, uh, which uh, acts as a custom Hugging Face dataset loader. So there are two options. I'm using the first one because dataset is simple, just uh, two attributes, uh, image uh, or document, and the second one is a JSON representation of the content that you want to extract. And as soon as you upload this data to the Hugging Face uh, dataset structure, then uh, all the data is automatically uh, packaged based on uh, splits that you defined, like test, train, and validation, and the stored in so-called parquet files, and uh, everything is compressed and um, yeah, and and functional. It's, uh, it's very useful. Uh, as soon as you have your data on hugging face structure, then you can load it from different environments, from your development environment, from test environment, from production envi environment, just by referencing the name of the data set. And let's see how is, is uh, implemented. Uh, this is the uh, Sparrow data project. It's also on the GitHub. I'll post the URL be below the video. For, uh, you could get uh, the, the code from there. And the idea is that there are a couple of scripts uh, running over here. And uh, now, as I mentioned, not all data is annotated yet, not all documents. So just uh, have two sample documents included. Uh, and uh, we got I just replicate the same documents in test, train, and validation for simplicity. Later, this will be changed. So we uh, need, in order for hanging face image folder 
out of the box functionality to work, we need to have um, uh, folders to be named as um, splits, like test, train, and validation. Then we got uh, all the images here, and then we need to have meta metadata JSON file, uh, which uh, is like a single line JSON. So for every entry, for every document, uh, uh, you will get single entry. So the JSON structure is translated into the one in, into single line structure and stored in this file. So like this. So this is the first file, second file, and so on. Right, and uh, we get mappings also. So we, uh, in order to build the metadata file, we need. Uh, mappings of the in a JSON format of the data that uh, we want to extract with like a key value pairs from the doc for, for each document. Right, and those, uh, th this key value pair data is not uh, being used directly by Hugging Face dataset. First, we in the first step we need to prepare metadata out of the key data, and then uh, Hugging Face dataset uh, con is constructed out of the image and out of the metadata. So we get uh, run Donald script here, and there are two steps. In the first step, what we do, we generate metadata. So we generate those metadata files for each of the splits. And uh, in the second step, we uh, generate data set. So uh, if you look into the metadata uh, generator script over here, we will get a loop, and we iterate through files, and uh, we construct uh, basically uh, ground truth and uh, file name. So the two, two elements will be, uh, those two elements will um, uh, describe our data set. So file name will be image name and ground truth. Uh, it's the key value pair um, mapping translated to the single line JSON uh, format. And uh, all the data for, uh, for, our, for each of the entry will be wrapped with uh, GT parse. Uh, this seems to be when we uh, fine-tune uh, donut model, uh, it expects out-of-the-box GT parse to be like a top attribute uh, wrapping entire JSON content. Right, and for the dataset uh, generator, so this is the place where we construct Hugging Face dataset. So for that, we just uh, call low datasets uh, out of the box function from uh, hanging face datasets, and we specify this keyword image folder, and this is the special name. It means uh, that uh, hanging face dataset API will try to build uh, hanging face dataset out of the box for us without uh, without a need to write any custom um, Python class uh, which would. Uh, translate the data from raw format into the hanging face dataset for format. So this image folder uh, implementation handles everything uh, out of the box for us. Then we specify data directory. We point to this image folder with uh, uh, subfolders um, that would indicate uh, splits. Right. And we just say that we want to return train data set split in order to test how it was constructed. And we print out some information about uh, train data set just to make sure that everything worked fine. Okay, and in this case, in this step, we created metadata, we tested uh, data set, uh, it was constructed fine. So in the next step, we would, uh, would like to upload uh, our data to Hugging Face Hub to be able to share it with others if it's, your data set is open or for your own convenience, if dataset is private, so you could use this dataset on different environments, on different machines. So under dataset uploader, what we do is uh, simply we load, we call load dataset with image folder, again, the same the same thing. And uh, if dataset is, is unchanged, it will just reuse cached uh, version of previously created dataset, and we call push to hub, we specify uh, and either the username or organization name, like in this case, and we specify dataset name, uh, private true, and using this function, we'll push uh, dataset to the hub. And from this moment, then dataset will be available on the hanging face infrastructure. And again, uh, if you want to test uh, dataset and see how it's being called from hanging face infrastructure, we can call uh, this script 
and in this case we uh, call the same load dataset function but differently than before we don't need to provide image folder as uh, the keywords we just provide our dataset name with um, uh, username or organization name and then uh, load dataset function is uh, smart enough it will check um, online uh, hugging face uh, infrastructure if uh, dataset exists there with this name if it exists it will download it uh, locally to your environment and you could use it um, on your own environment afterwards so uh, as, so it's important to understand as soon as a uh, dataset was published on a hugging face hub then you don't need to use image folder anymore uh, keyword you just use your own dataset name and you work it with this dataset as you would work with any other data set from the Hugging Face infrastructure. So thanks for watching and in this video my goal was to explain uh, how you could use a Hugging Face uh, data set functionality with out of the box keyword uh, image folder to build uh, data sets for the uh, visual tasks uh, uh, for those data sets where typically you have uh, image uh, uh, data and also uh, metadata that describes the content of the image, uh, like in my case, uh, it describes the uh, data that I would like to extract from the document. So with, with this data that we can keep now in, in standard way on Hugging Face Hub, the next uh, logical step would be uh, to load this data and try to run model fine-tuning. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.